Hey guys, it's Jimmy here. Welcome back to another Dragonville video. Super excited about today. Today we'll be getting the Nox Dragon in Dragonville. That's right. But before we get the video started, then we'll get note we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The building down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there. For right now, let's get the Nox Dragon from the event. I was trying to breed the Nox Dragon originally, but I have no luck breeding any of the event dragons so far. And I'm feeling not that patient to actually wait to see if I breed the dragon. So I just want to buy it for you guys so you can see it. So yeah, let's take care of that though. For right now, let's go buy the dragon with our 14k currency we have right now, which is awesome. And we're also going to try to take this guy to level 20. Since my boy Jason told me you can use Rift Crystals to level them up. So we're going to try that. So here's a dragon egg for Nox. It looks really cool. And also this dragon animation does look dope. And there's a young form. Sick. Now that taken care of, we can actually take this dragon to level 20. Rift Dragons are usually super expensive to feed. But what Jason told me, you can use Rift Crystals to max them out. So first of all, this is what it looks like his young form. We'll take him to level 4 for its teen form, which you can see right here is his teen form. Now we'll take him to level 7 for that adult form, which you can see right there, that's the adult form. Now we'll take him to level 11, then we're going to use our Earth Crystals to max him out. So this is what it looks like at level 11, pretty awesome. And now we'll just max him out with this. Supposedly this should work. Hopefully, I don't run out of crystals before doing this, but looks of it, this is actually way, way more effective than I thought it would be. I just start doing this for all my Rift Dragons. And this is why, boys and girls, you max out your Rift in Dragonville. But here you go. Maxed Nox Dragon in Dragonville. At the max level, it'll produce a total of 930 gold a minute. And of course, it has better breeding odds. And also, you can see it's got the sick animation too. I love how the dragons we got, like Ocular and Nox, are not like dragon like. They're more unique to the design, which I find to be really sick. So I really like what Decca's doing with that. But uh, still nice, like a dragon theme. But this is just kind of the cooler designs we're getting recently. So now if we're actually going to move this dragon on over to one of my gold farms on Dragonville, onto my overgrown island, here we go, with the light and lightning booster, not light and lightning, dark and light booster, I should say, it will be the most gold producing dragon. So you can see right here, with both boosters in Dragonville, produces a whopping 1,488 gold a minute. That's crazy. It's kind of crazy. The last dragon for this event is the most gold producing dragon. So if I was to find the other one, most recent one, which wasn't this dragon, it was Ocular. So let me find my Ocular dragon real quick. I'm pretty sure I had some are close by, but looks like I don't, which is unfortunate. So let me find it real quick. Here we go. Olympus, Ocular, find. Yeah, it produces 1,285. So each of these dragons in Dragonville keep going up no matter what we get for this event, which is kind of crazy how many cool gold gold producing dragons we get in Dragonville. But then saying now we actually have one that almost surpasses 1,500. Just imagine when we do get a dragon that surprises that amount. That would be insane. Then maybe we'll get a 2,000 gold producing dragon in a minute. Uh, there's not really any good uh, habitat to contain that much gold, but um, hopefully we'll get a new habitat at some point that maybe contain a ridiculous amount of gold for maybe like this dragon. I don't know. Maybe in the future we'll see something like that, but that's pretty dope. So what we're going to do now is show you guys what it looks like when it race, just in case you're wondering what it looks to race with. So let's go do that. So let's take care of that. So let's find our Nox Dragon real quick. It doesn't matter what element we match him with. This is just for fun. And I am going to change this guy's name to Legendary later. So let's see. Does he float or roll? So he looks like he's floating for the racetrack. Like the Eden Dragon or is he? It's like float hopping. It's kind of weird because he's floating. But he looks like he's trying to hop at the same time. So I guess that's kind of strange. But cool at the same time. So that's pretty awesome. So if you're wondering what it looks like the race with the Nox Dragon. There you go. And that's awesome. And I'm also going to move this dragon over to my Rift too. So... You guys can get a cool look at that if you're going to get it for your rift. If you want to put in your park, you can put it in your park. If you want to put it in the rift, you can put it in your rift. So let's move this guy on over. So let's go to the rift. To the rift, to the rift. Oh, I didn't misclick for a second there. Speed that on up. But uh, definitely going to start maxing out my dragons and dragon villain rift with uh, rift currencies. Also, thank you, Jason, for that pro tip. He's a Chad, by the way. But there we go. There's the Nox Dragon in Dragonville. If you did find this video helpful or interesting, make sure to smash like button, Dragon Punch that subscribe button, and don't forget we do stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. There'll be a link down below to our Twitch channel. Check us out there. And while you're down there, you should check out our Christmas merch. We got some dope Christmas merch. And check it out. You got to. It's cool. But until then, thank you to all the members for supporting the channel. I cannot thank you guys enough, so thank you guys again for being awesome. And until then, G-Man, out. Thank <laughs> you.